Hello, hello, my name is Dustin Furlow and I'm here hanging out at Cedar Rock Studio Guitar Gallery in Indiana and it's always a lovely day anytime there's a new guitar from Ryan Gerber passing through. So uh, really excited to play this, tell you guys a little bit about it. It's actually on its way to its new owner, it's just passing through so we couldn't help ourselves do a little video for you. Um, this is his RL15 Plus model, so it's 15 and a half inches across the lower bout, it's sort of like a modern OM. Uh, very versatile, uh, just a wonderful guitar. In that respect, it can do pretty much anything that you throw at it. Uh, sort of a Swiss Army knife body shape. Uh, it's got beautiful Swiss moon spruce for the top. Uh, very quick response, pure sound, lots of headroom to the trebles. It's got, it's it's sort of Gerber's preference for 98% of his guitars, I would say, uh, at this point. Um, it has a very consistent sound and quality that I think he's after for his signature voice. Um, something that I think is really cool about Ryan that um, makes him one of my favorite builders in the States is that no matter what woods are used, um, he has a very consistent DNA to his tonal profile. And I think that's really great because it lets you appreciate the differences in the woods, uh, you know, the small subtle things. And um, so this one's very resonant because it has a very lovely set <clears throat> of Honduran rosewood for the back and sides this sort of rust colored orange palette that works really well with the mahogany neck, I think. Just really like that uh, color, color profile there. Um, very resonant wood, uh, displays most of the qualities you find in Brazilian rosewood, cocobolo, or uh, you know, African blackwood, that sort of thing, very resonant. Um, so there's all kinds of rosewoods on this guitar, actually. Um, <clears throat> there's some really lovely Brazilian rosewood used for the bridge, uh, something Ryan's been doing a lot more of. There's Cocobolo bridge pins, another Dalbergia. Um, there's Indian rosewood for the guitar binding. Got a Maca Macassar ebony fingerboard that actually looks a bit more like rosewood. It's got nice little orange striping in it. Honduran mm -hmm. rosewood, again, for the uh, headstock veneers, front and back. Looks really beautiful. Um, <clears throat> He's got this really sweet uh, figured burl that he used for the rosette with these really intricate single piece um, inlays that he did. It's like just dozens and dozens of single pieces that are used to put together into this rosette. It almost looks like it's woven together. It's really interesting. Ryan's got some of the best rosettes, period, out there, um, in my opinion. Something really cool about this guitar too is that the Evo Gold really pops against that Macassar Ebony. It just has a really refined look. I mean, all of Ryan's guitars have a very refined, uh, classy look that lets the beauty of the woods sort of stand out. Um, it's like there's just a single purfling of maple on the top and around the rosettes, uh, around the rosette. Two little maple rings there. Just looks so classy and elegant. You know, nothing really jumps out at you. It's just a very cohesive piece that I like a lot. Um, the neck profile is really wonderful too. It's got this sort of medium C uh, right in between like what I would call a full C and a slim C. Um, really nice if you want to draw power for like bar chords. It's just very, it's, it doesn't take much effort to get some power there. And Ryan's a really fine player himself. Uh, his YouTube channel's uh, full of really cool little uh, noodles and original pieces that I enjoy. Um, so I think he, ha I th think because of that, he has a uh, bit of an advantage over your average luthier. He really knows like what's going to work well for modern finger style playing. And so again, uh, my buddy Matt and I, who also demos here, we're really big fans of his work. I think for that reason, he just has the setup and intonation dialed up on like, dialed in on like every guitar uh, that we've played. So um, congrats to the new owner and uh, hope you enjoy it in good health. Uh, the tuning machines on this are also very smooth and a joy to use. It's these uh, 1 to 21 Goto 510s. But yeah, there's, there's not much I can say about Gerber's guitars that I haven't said already in previous demos. I mean, they're just superlative uh, guitars. They can do just about everything well uh, because of the way he voices with the respect to the fundamental and um, overtone balance. You know, just feels very versatile and really a joy to play for pretty much everything that you could throw at it. So again, uh, till next time, we'll see you and uh, happy holidays. And uh, Gerber, if you're watching this, great job as always, man. It's always a pleasure. So catch you guys next time. Take care.